Hi, my name is Tammy Victor, and I am a member at Shepherd's Heart Fellowship, and I am in charge of the Light Ministries for the Women. And today, I'm going to talk about, do you wear a mask, or do we not wear a mask? So many people don't know what they want to do, whether they want to wear a mask or not wear a mask. I feel like some people are getting divided because of the mask. Then I stumbled onto this article, would Jesus wear a mask? Oh. Interesting, huh? These are crazy times that we are living in. As if we don't have enough division in the world already, now we seem to have a controversy over whether or not to wear a face mask. Some object to it because they think it makes them look foolish. Others see it as if an inconvenience or a violations of their rights. Others criticize some of our leaders start setting the needed example. So others claim face masks don't protect anyone, or that the whole COVID-19 crisis is a hoax. We are sadly divided people. Yet the facts are, our health professionals, local, regional, and national, urge us to wear a mask when we are in public setting. Why? Because even though restaurants, bars, stores are opening up, the COVID-19 virus has not gone away. As I write this article today, confirming cases of the virus is spiked in the 20 states. We're currently seeing our new confirmed cases in St. Cox County each day. And our numbers have doubled over the past month. And nationally, over 125,000 people have now lost their lives to this disease. So can I ask you, if Jesus was walking our streets today, do you think he would wear a mask? Why? Or why not? How do you think Jesus would suggest we best love our neighbor? Would Jesus be concerned about being uncomfortable or inconvenience? Would his concerns be with his vanity and his appearances? Would you see Jesus arguing over the civil rights? Would he insult or make fun of those who were frightened for their lives? Or would Jesus discount the counsel of medical experts? Think of it, friends. The Jesus we preach was willing to experience humiliation suffering, and death to save the people he loved. It seems to me if Jesus would die on the cross for us, he would wear a mask for us. He would do anything in his power to protect our well-being and show his care in our practical ways, like wearing a mask. Christians should be leading the way in loving our neighbors and caring for us in the valuable. That's not just Jesus' job. It's your job and my job too. What troubles me most in seeing people in public places without a mask is sensing our inconvenience, now overshadowing our caring. Liberty has become more important to some than love. Wearing a mask is not only the way to show our faith and our values, but it's one of the ways. As a pastor in this community of faith, I hope and pray that Christ will bring out the best in those of us who claim to follow Jesus. I also hope you will be living example of Christ's love, care, concern, compassion, and respect for those around you. Please, when you're in public, think about the good of others. Jesus does. Put on your mask. That's the article. Even though this article I read is probably from a year ago, and I think back then when masks were mandatory and everybody had to wear a mask there were still a lot of people that didn't wear a mask and i know for myself i started to be judgmental i started judging people because they weren't wearing a mask and that's not what jesus wants we're not to be judging anybody i remember grocery shopping at myers one day and this guy was just going up and down the aisle shouting why are you people wearing these masks and i thought oh my goodness why aren't you wearing your mask so hopefully we can be more like jesus and kind and not be judgmental because some people just don't want to wear the mask. And that's okay. We can still love them whether they wear a mask or not a mask. Thank you.